By the way, folks, I say to my dad, Dad, they're mispronouncing Balmer. <laughs> <laughs> my dad and the Biden, please sit down. The Biden family goes all the way back to being watermen in this bay for a long, long time, back in the mid-1800s. So, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden goes to visit the collapsed bridge. When the bridge first collapsed last week, Right, He came out and did a press conference and he actually said that he used to take that bridge to and from work back in the day. But a couple fact checkers proved that that was a lie. This morning, Joe Biden stands and actually says not only did he used to take the bridge to and from work every day, but that the Biden family have been watermen under the bridge. So since Joe Biden starts opening his mouth, we've learned in the last three years that Joe Biden used to be a semi-truck driver. He used to be a railroad conductor. Then he used to actually drive the trains. He grew up in a Hispanic community. He used to sing in a choir, right? He marched with the civil right activists. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one whew, makes me laugh every time. Right, he's done all these things, right? He was a pilot. What else did he do? A, a bunch of stuff. Now, what's next? Is he going to tell us that he wrote the first rap song and put the hood on the map? This guy is a pathetic disgrace to the nation. He lies. Everybody knows he lies. Tomorrow, Peter Ducey is going to call out Kareem Jean-Pierre on the claim that happened today, and she's going to ignore him, turn red, and walk away. Because everybody knows, everything that Joe Biden says is a lie. Whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. Dude's got dementia. But it is a lie. And a lie is a lie, whether it was intentional or not.